Welcome back, and thank you for joining for another one of Mike and Billy's Whiskey Reviews. And today, we're going to head back to America. A bourbon, the Colonel, E.H. Taylor, 50% ABV, 100 proof. This is actually a bourbon that I know really well. And with this particular bourbon, um, it is not an easy one to get, but one that I have had many times, so I'm very familiar with it and happy to finally bring it to you guys. E.H. Taylor is one of the Buffalo Trace uh, bottlings. Uh, Buffalo Trace makes Peppy Van Winkle, um, the standard Buffalo Trace, which is really good whiskey, Weller, a bunch of other ones that are really popular here in the States. Um, but this particular one I'm extremely fond of. Um, just unfortunately, bourbons just in general, the last year or two, at least in Ohio, have been extremely hard to get my hands on the better ones, which is sad because we border Kentucky and they're all right there. Um, so the E.H. Taylor is a bottle that I've been meaning to bring to you for some time. And every time I get a bottle of this or one is given to me, I end up drinking it all and I never get to actually bring it to you guys because it's a very easy drinking bourbon, a very reasonable price at around $60. But fortunately, my good buddy Keith at the Malta Man Cave saved me about half a bottle of this. Um, not that I need to get to know it. I know it well. Um, but at least I could have a bottle of it to bring to you guys and let you know what I thought as far as the smell and the taste. First of all, um, like most bourbons, it is natural color. So a lovely caramel color, like with most of them. Again, it's 50% ABV and again made by the Buffalo Trace Distillery. <clears throat> so pretty much anything coming from Buffalo Trace these days, whether it's Weller, Pappy Van Winkle, this E.H. Taylor, Man, I don't know if they're not making enough whiskey or they're just hoarding it just to drive up price, but they're really hard to get anymore. So they're reasonably priced, but hard to get. I would almost rather them be double the price and on the shelves every day. At least that way I can pick them up when I want to pick them up. But we are, have to play the hand we are dealt. And we have one today, so that's the main part. So each Taylor, 50% ABV. Let me tell you what I think as far as the nose. Like a lot of bourbons, you're getting that sweetness of that caramel and that toffee. Unlike a lot of bourbons, you're getting traditional sherry matured flavors in this as far as the nose, plums, figs, dates. It's almost like a Balvini 17 year old Doublewood that's a high ABB instead of the 43% that I believe it currently is now. Imagine Balvini 17 year old double wood at 50% ABV. That's a little bit sweeter. That's where we're at with this one. Spice, cinnamon, figs, and a really good smoky oakiness. So it's oak, so it's not it's not peat, it's not smoke from some type of process. It's just from the oak of the cask. You get that wood smoke. Very, very oaky on the nose for this one. <sighs> solid, solid whiskey. It's rich, it's caramel. Actually, I prefer this better than say like a Blanton's or a Weller 12 year old. Um, to me, E.H. Taylor, if I'm gonna drink a bourbon, E.H. Taylor is absolutely my first choice if I could really have any bourbon for the price. Now, obviously I'd like to have a Pappy Van Winkle 15 year old or 20 year old. That's probably the best bourbon I've tasted, but for the money and what you pay for it at the bar, man, E.H. Taylor, the Colonel, is probably my best bang for the buck bourbon that you can get, in my opinion. And because it does so many things for you, you get a little bit of that sherry notes, meaning those dark fruits. You are also getting a beautiful candied caramel with this. On top of that, you're getting some wood smoke. Wood smoke slash oakiness. Almost like the casks were more porous for some reason. They just tore out more. All right, take a little sip. Tell everything about the palate.
Mm. Sweet, buttery, like a Talisker 18 or a Talisker 10. Not the same, obviously, but that buttery note, that buttery texture to it, just like that. That's what I love about this whiskey. Spicy, buttery. You really don't get the, the dark fruits on the palate like you do the nose, but that's okay. It's replaced with what you ask. Tobacco. It's the only way I can describe it. There is a dried tobacco leaf taste to this on the palate. And it is just, it's chewy. And with that buttery texture, it's almost like if you have a fine cigar, not that I'm a huge smoker, but if you have a cigar and like before you light the cigar, you just kind of put it in your mouth, kind of chew on the end of it for a minute. It's like that. But with caramel and oak. It's just so inviting of a whiskey, even at 50% ABV. Incredible, it really is. Now, the H. Taylor, as far as the nose and the smells, it's four or five things, period. That's it. And absolutely the things that I described to you. I've had this bottle so much, I thought to myself, ah, let's dig a little deeper. Is there anything else? Not really. It's just those four or five things. But they're really good, and they go together extremely well. That's what I really like about this particular whiskey. It doesn't try to be all-encompassing. It doesn't try to get as many flavors in there as possible. It doesn't try to be extremely well-rounded. It just tries to do a few things really, really nice. And with that extra ABV being 100 proof, 50% ABV, it just drives it home. Drives it home. A little bit of water. Let me tell you if it changed. It's less, um, less of the dark fruits. So if you like a few of those sherry notes on the nose, man, you got to cut out the, you got to cut out everything else. Um, cut out the water. You know, you just have to, you have to go smell it straight if you really want those dark uh, fruit notes. But still there is the caramel. Still there is the oakiness. And the spice. Lovely light spice. A white cinnamon. Think white cinnamon. It's not a thing, I don't think. But if it was, that's what it would be. All right, now that I had a little bit of water, second taste time. Mm -hmm. Like with most bourbons, it lessens somewhat with water. It's like with all bourbons, I prefer to drink them neat. Still that buttery note. Still that lovely tobacco at the end. I had tobacco leaf at the end. A little bit of caramel. Caramel's kind of coating. Caramel comes out more on the palate with the water. So if you like something a little bit sweeter, throw some water in there. I know a lot of people like to drink this with a cube ice. Wouldn't be my choice, but hey, teach their own because this is a good one, and there's really no wrong way to drink this E.H. Taylor. It is one of my favorite bourbons and my best bang for the buck bourbon that I can possibly recommend for you guys. So anyway, I'm in an 89 out of 100 on this one. 89 out of 100, period, of any whiskey. The E.H. Taylor, my best bang for your buck bourbon, period. I want to thank you for joining us for another one of Mike and Billy's Whiskey Reviews, and until next time, I wish all of you happy drinking and best wishes in 2019.